Okay, welcome to part two, where we start to take your WISE project and implement it inside this Unity project. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop first here. And on my desktop, this is the WISE project that I've been working with as part of this class. So it's got events in it, it's got a sound bank that I built, it has all the things that we did earlier this week. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this entire folder you can see inside of it, it's the WISE project with my WISE branching project. What I'm gonna do is take this entire folder and drop it into my starter template. Now I have two WISE projects, the one from the template itself, the zip file, and my new branching project that I've been working on this week. So what I'm gonna do is go over to Unity, and in here we're referencing the template project. But what's cool is we can go back to the preferences under project settings and go down to the WISE editor and choose a new WISE project path. So we'll do that using the three buttons over here. And instead of using the generic WISE project, we'll go up a level and go into your WISE branching project. And then we'll go ahead and select our WISE branching project. So we're kind of redirecting it to this new place. We're redirecting it to your specific project. So right now, Unity is kind of looking at your specific project instead of the one that you downloaded with it. All right, so now if we refresh the project by hitting this button, then we'll start to see our project here. And our new project these states should line up with the one that you've built. In fact, it should have a level one music sound bank here, which is good. So this one here is what we now want to go to our WISE global object under the inspector. And instead of loading the game sound bank, remember that's from the old project, the template project, we want to select your bank. So we'll go into the banks and it should probably say level one music sound bank and we'll hit okay. All right, so we've added that into our project. Now we're just gonna clear out our level a little bit because we don't need these anymore. We're gonna set up new objects to call yours. So what I wanna do is I wanna get rid of the cube and the sphere. So right click, delete on the cube right click delete on the sphere, right click on the text called sphere, and the text called cube. So we're just gonna get rid of those objects. So we kind of have a level playing field here. So on our WISE Global, we're loading our new sound bank. And what we can do now is we can actually start our game. So we can go into our WISE Picker and then the event that you created called Start Game, let's just add that by dragging it to our WISE Global Object. Okay, so on our WISE Global Object now, what's happening is uh, right here, Trigger on Start. That means when the level starts up, we are going to start, we're gonna play this event called Start Game. Now if I play anything right now, we're not gonna hear anything yet. But in the background, what's happening is it started our music switch. But it doesn't know quite what to play yet because we haven't then called our next event. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our events here. And you can see I have set, uh, let's see, we wanna use set state explore as our first one. So, I want to collide with an object, so I'll go up to the game object menu. I'll create a cube. You can see that I've created this cube here. And I'm just going to move it a little bit from the player. And I'm going to create a trigger on that, on the box collider, which means that I can, when I move through it, it acts like a trigger. And then I can use set state explore and add it directly to the cube. Now it adds a bunch of scripts, but the one that I'm concerned with is, I don't want to, tr um, is trigger on. When do I want it to happen? 
and I want it to happen only on what's called AK trigger enter. So I'm going to change it to A trigger K trigger enter, but it leaves start and I want to remove start. So I'm just going to kind of go back into it. And now it's only happening on AK trigger enter. So now when we hit start, what it's going to do is start the music switch. And then the cube, once I run into it, it's going to play my music. So let me review what I did. Basically, I create an object in the world. I set it so that it was a trigger on the box collider. And then I just dragged in from the wise picker, set state explore onto that object. And I made sure that it was set up to trigger on AK trigger enter, not start. Let me do that again. So what I'll do is I'll create another 3D object, I'll create like a sphere this time. Here's my sphere. I'm going to move it kind of over to the other side. And I want this one to be chase. So I'll go ahead and go to my wise picker and I'll choose set state chase and then drag it up either here to the sphere here or I drag it over here because I've selected on the sphere. And now um, I, for, I need to set it as a trigger, here is trigger, and then secondly, not I don't want it to fire right away, I don't want it to start right when the level starts, so I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to select AK trigger enter. I'm going to save my level, and then when I hit play, the switch is going to start, and then secondly, I'm going to go over here and trigger this. That's going to trigger my explorer. This is my intro phrase. And I don't want to switch until after the first explore phrase happens. So here's the first explore phrase. Then what I'm going to do is collide with this. It's going to wait to the end of the phrase and then go into chase. Now I can keep adding. Um, let me do another, let me do one more, which is, let's do a capsule. So I have a capsule here. And I'm going to use this for stingers. So here's my capsule. I'm going to make sure that the is trigger is selected on it. And then I'm going to use one of my triggers. So I'll use the second one, which I think in this case is like a little piano. Uh, a piano event. I can either drag it to the capsule here or I can drag it here and I'll just drag it there. And then remember I don't want it to happen right away. I want it to happen a little later. So I'll select nothing first and then I'll do AK trigger enter and then it will play. So the thing about triggers that you have to remember of, is that I set it up um, so that I have to have my regular music playing. So my music, if I try and trigger it now, it's not going to play. I have to get past the introduction. I have to get past the introduction. So here's the first phrase. Now when I trigger it, it should play. Unless I forgot something. By the way, I triggered Chase. So it's not triggering correctly, but that could be because I have a mistake in my WISE project. So I'm going to go over and check my WISE project by launching the WISE launcher. And I'm going to launch my version of WISE. And I'm going to open up this project and see what the mistake is. Now, I want you to continue and put in all your states, all your stingers into one project um, and by just going through and putting a bunch of objects. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead um, and try and fix this mistake so you can see some mistakes too. 
I'm going to go to that Wise project. I'm going to pull up my branching project here. I'm going to try and figure out what's wrong. Um, the first thing I usually do is go to the Soundcaster and try and play it here and see if it's working here. If it's not working here, then I know there's a problem and it needs to be fixed here first before it's going to work in Unity. So what I'm going to do is, I think I know what the problem is, so I'll go back over here to the triggers and make sure I'm in the correct layout here. So I'll go to Interactive Music, Trigger, and, um, and I figured out what was wrong. In fact, I forgot. So these aren't playing because they are set to Game Object instead of Global. Change them over to Global if you did that. That could have been a mistake that you made. Change them to Global. Um, game Object, um, it, what this is called is Scope. And what Scope is, is it's a uh, a way of distinguishing between if I have like two different uh, enemies in the world and they both have footsteps, then the footsteps are kind of local to the game object or the enemy. Each enemy has its own footstep. Uh, in the case of a trigger, I want to play all the time, so I change the scope to global because a trigger isn't like having multiple sort of footsteps on different characters. It's more like in the world, it's just going to play all the time. So I change the scope to global. In order for me to hear that in the world, I just need to now go to my sound bank, sound bank layout, generate this again. And once it's generated, then I can go back to my Unity project because I've made that change now. And uh, it should work. So I'll go over here get my project started by going through this cube. I don't think it'll play while my transition is... Oh, it did. All right, cool. It will play during that little introduction transition. It's playing both like entering and exiting. And then I'll uh, change to chase. And now I'll play it again, although it's going to be a little harder to hear. All right. So what I want you to do is keep adding 3D objects for each one of your events that you have. So you fill out the world. So in this, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, I guess seven different ones because start game we already did. And then um, start game is actually, remember that starts our switch and our switch begins on the wise global. That's the very first one that we put in. So you'll have seven other objects to correspond to these events that you have inside of wise. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.